with all of us finally getting our hands on wave 5 we are all super excited to dive deeper into these tracks what features have changed from the original what have they added new what did they discard and there's a track that stands out to a lot of people right now that is ups and downs within the community let's discuss about sunset wilds how's it going everyone my name is ace Nader, and i want to welcome you to the channel and the first thing i'm going to mention is i do have a discord server so if you guys want to talk anything mario related talk with me one-on-one -on -one, or just have a good time in the server please click that link down there in the description below so here's the kickoff of a brand new series i would like to call track reviews you know pretty boring pretty basic but it's just short and sweet and to the point and i want to describe how this is going to work really quick so from this standpoint just speaking you know wave five you know wave six i'm going to be reviewing a track i'm going to go over the pros my pros and i'm going to go over the cons of the track and also just bring you guys my final thoughts it's not going to be like a 20 minute breakdown or anything out of nature it's just pretty much like trying on a shoe so this is my first video of the series if you guys obviously did enjoy it please smash that thumbs up button I'll be doing it for Sunset Wilds and the rest of the tracks for wave 5 and obviously once wave 6 comes out I'll be doing the same exact thing so without further ado let's dive in and talk about Sunset Wilds so the first thing I'm gonna go over are the cons of the track and I feel like here the negatives are better first and obviously there'll be chapters so if you guys don't want to hear the negatives there will be the positives and the gameplay you guys are gonna be seeing is wave with CPUs because for the life of me I cannot find any of the wave 5 tracks online except LA Labs and squeaky clean sprint I don't know if it's a bug I don't know if it's a glitch but you know let me know if you guys are having that problem as well so the first biggest con that I have and I'm pretty sure 99% of you people watching this video are gonna say and think the same exact thing right now and that is there is no sunset within this track as the tracks main gimmick I would have expected it to be here, you know, the whole point of Sunset Wilds is pretty much there's supposed to be a sunset, and we kind of have one, but we kind of don't, and obviously from Super Circuit wise, you know, the sunset every lap and so did Tor, and I get it, and I've heard some stories about this, that the Skybox and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe does not allow dynamic Skybox changes, I could be wrong, but yeah, as a kid, and when I played Super Circuit, I really loved that aspect, and this track was a fan favorite of mine, you know, despite what everybody else says, I love the song, I love the theme of the track, I don't know, maybe I'm just a country boy or something, but yeah, I love this track, and I would have loved to see the sunset in 8 Deluxe, it was one of my personal favorites growing up as a kid, I feel like this is a big con for everybody out there, so this is the biggest one, and probably one of the only problems, I do have one more though. So the second pretty much last con I can think of, you know, with my time that I've had, you know, not playing online or anything like that, so maybe the online mode sucks, I don't know, but the last con that I have is the track feels shorter, and it's not just me, it's pretty much with every Super Circuit track that they brought in from the Booster Course Pass. I don't know if they hate, you know, long tracks from Super Circuit, you know, it was first time it was Sky Garden, because I did not remember that track looking like that. I get it, you know, whatever comes in Tor is going to come in 8 Deluxe, so maybe Tor has limitations, but I don't know. I don't play any of these games competitively, I just play all Mario games with an open mind, I just try to bring you guys really opinion-based videos but like what the hell like it's just weird like with all the super circuit tracks that we are not seeing pretty much long you know their true 100 percent selves obviously the graphics are going to change it's not going to look 2d but it's just the weirdest thing for the entire booster course pass that we have seen pretty much a half filled track if you guys know what i mean by that so those are the biggest cons that i could find and now let's go over to the positives and the first big positive that i actually have is this track looks absolutely incredible and i've never been a graphic sort of guy when it does come to you know any type of game whether that's platformers whether that's fps is whether that's you know mario kart or whether that's just any game i've never been a graphic guy but i love that they've improved it from let's say sky garden graphics wise to sunset wilds wise and i don't mind if the track is flat don't get me wrong like i said i don't play these games competitively to me i actually love the way that this track looks you know there's more elevation in there like i said in the sunset wilds video when i actually did you know i guess predict it for wave five that you're gonna be racing through that little hole in the middle at the end of the track like a canyon rock you know that's there there's hills the dirt the mud and you know obviously the sunset you know with not being somewhat present 
in a deluxe, I should say. Actually, it looks really good. The lighting looks good, and just visually, the track looks absolutely stunning. So the next thing I want to touch on really quickly, and it's a staple throughout the entire Mario Kart game, is obviously the music. I'm not going to go too in-depth, but you know, the music in this track is absolutely incredible. I'm not really too profound with instruments or what they use, but obviously I know they use trumpets, and obviously I, you know, listen to country music, and this is kind of like a country song. So it, to me, it actually sounds wicked good. I get it. You know, some people might might say it's annoying per se, but also I kind of like the tempo change after that little intro. I'm not going to do it here on the microphone. And you guys know what I'm talking about with the little medley after. It just sounds super good. I'm actually super happy the way that Sunset Wild's music actually came out in 8 Deluxe. The last little pro that I can give you guys, and obviously I haven't played it online, so I can't really say if it's a good track to play online, but what I can tell you is the feel of this track just absolutely works like even though they cut down the size it's quick and it's easy you know it's a perfect wave 5 track could even have been thrown in with wave 2 obviously if it was a wave 2 the graphics would have not been that good or even wave 1 I could definitely see it as a wave 4 track too obviously not wave 3 but just still the feeling of the track just you racing in that environment just feels absolutely incredible I feel like we really don't have a track like that in 8 Deluxe obviously Dry Dry Ruins is a another desert track we're not gonna talk about bone dry dunes of course not because that track is god awful but it's just you know you're racing in a canyon and that's pretty much like the only type unless I'm forgetting a track for some strange reason the only type of track in that game it just works and I'm super excited that it's finally in 8 deluxe so pros and cons aside I feel like the right thing to do is to give this thing a letter grade and obviously it's gonna be F through A I'm not gonna do any ST or anything like that and I don't think this track is an S tier but I feel like it's the right thing to do and I'm gonna try to do this with every single review that I do whether that's wave 5 wave 6 every other Mario Kart track you know in the future Mario Party or Mario Wonder or anything of that nature so I'm gonna give it a B and obviously you guys can agree obviously you guys can disagree but this is my personal opinion so let me know what you guys think in the comment section of the video the reason why I'm giving this a B is obviously I talked about the cons and obviously I talked about the pros you know you can go back to the video if you like but the reason why I'm giving it more than a C is personally, I, you know, really like this track and it does bring a lot of nostalgia to me. You know, ever since I played Super Saga as a kid, this is one of my favorite tracks, you know, that and Cheeseland. Those tracks just, you know, really hit hard for me when they actually both came to 8 Deluxe as of now. So, yeah, it's just the music sounds great. The track looks stunning. I just really, really wish we got that sunset because it would change a lot of people's opinions, you know, including mine of, you know, changing it from, let's just say, the average is a C tier, all the way up to an A tier, just because of the sunset. And, you know, that's what makes that track shine, pretty much, you know, no pun intended. So, obviously, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. You know, if you guys did enjoy this series where I do rank something, you know, in my personal opinion, give something an in-depth review, you know, hit that like button, obviously, tell me in the comment section, I will do it for Mario Kart maybe Mario Party, or maybe even Mario Wonder Levels, I have no idea, whatever you guys want to see, and yeah, maybe we'll turn this into like a long-term series, because I can't do track theories anymore, because Wave 6 is pretty much confirmed, so yeah, let me know if you guys want this as like a lifelong series here on the channel, I'll gladly do that for you, but yeah, my name is Aceinator, guys, if you guys want to subscribe for more Mario Kart content, Mario content, Mario Wonder, Mario Party, subscribe to the channel if you guys do want more, with that out of the way, I just want to say thank you guys so much, stay healthy, stay clean, bye.